Hey guys, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. Got the beautiful Miss Amy. Say hi. Hi guys. All right, she's going to be filming me flying this FMS 800 millimeter T28. Are you ready? You're good to go. <laughs> she's all excited. All right, I'm going to grab the plane. It's already plugged in and ready to go. I'm going to take that. I'm going to grab, give you the camera. She's going to do her best with it. You ready? Yes. All right, a couple things about this today, folks. We are running it with this. Went ahead and put in. Can you get in on that? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a China Hobby Line 1300. Okay. 100 C pack. Okay. So I'm trying to get the most out of this I can. And then Amy, if you could film inside here. Okay. We needed to make a little adapter for it. Okay. Because it's got uh, this really big wire meant for drones. It's really a drone battery. And uh, I made an adapter that goes to a JST. So we're going to go with that. I had to do a little trimming of my canopy. Which I don't know, can you get under here, Amy? Right, can you see this part right here? Had to do a little trimming right there, and uh, it seems to fit fine now. Um, we may lose the canopy on this flight because of the magnet with that battery, but it seems to fit in there okay. So I want to see if we can get the most performance we can using China Hobby Line on the 1300 pack. So it provides a little more weight, and obviously it's got quite a C rating. Also, I boosted the performance. I went into the uh, timing, and I bumped it up to high timing. So we're getting a little more kick here, as you can see out of it, I did the same thing with the P-51. And we'll see how it does off the grass. You ready to go, babe? Yes. Okay, everything booted up. Now, I did the same thing with this thing that I did with the P-51. I changed my rear clevises. Amy, you want to get in on that real quick? Can you get the, on, on that close? My clevises right there. Can you see it okay? Mm -hmm. The clevises right there, the hole was so big, okay, and the pin was so small, that it had a lot of play in there. So I changed these two. The ailerons were fine. I don't know if you can get on that one, okay, Amy? The ailerons were fine. It came with these nice big clevises already, so they weren't loose, didn't have play, like the P-51, but, um, so anyway, we're nice and tight on everything. I'm just gonna do a quick flight control check, right, left, up, down. I got triple rates on everything. And I'm gonna start off with the mids for everything. So right, left, up, down, right, left. There we go, you ready? Yeah. All right, get on the plane and I'm going to drive it out here just a little bit, and uh, we're going to take off here on the soccer field. Surprisingly, these planes seem to handle the grass pretty good. Actually, you know what? The wind's coming from the other way. We got tra traffic coming in from the We have a little bit of noise here. We'll wait for it. I guess they're departing. I guess they're departing to the north in Orlando today, so all the planes are flying over. All right, you ready, babe? Yes. All right, here we go. Take off. There we go. And it's windy out here, guys, a little bit. We had some tree trap top wind, and uh, it just started blowing on us. So Amy's going to do her best to follow it. You hanging in there okay, baby? I think so. You think so? Okay. We'll do our best. We're a little windy it's here, hard, so. It's because I can't really see anything. <laughs> it definitely has some nice speed to it now. We, uh, me and Steve flew these in all in the fall together and I'll have a video of that out there. And I'll also be putting videos of that on the channel. I'll put those in the upper right hand corner of the screen so you guys can see it. Um, but uh, it has so much more power now with the high timing. Now I might be running the risk of heating up the speed controller doing this. But uh, gotta come by nice and slow. You got it? I know it's hard to see. She's got a, I gotta get you a glare shield. I can't shield. see anything. I'm just pointing it to where yeah. I think okay. it is, like that's before. Good, that's good, that's okay. <laughs> just do your best with it. But it flies fantastic now. It's got so much more power than it had before. It, uh, it's very aerobatic, flies nice. I'm trying to avoid all those trees. I'm gonna come by slow out front here. Okay. There you go. Keep it as smooth as you can get it. You did great last time, you know? So. I got it inverted here. We'll come in here a little bit upside down. All right, I'm gonna come by slow for you. Ready? I'm gonna drop it in here. Just come right by the camera here. Beautiful flyer here. We're at the park, doing a little renegade flying with the park flyers. Take it way, way out there. I'm gonna turn it around this way and come back. Yeah, it just flies fantastic. I'm only on the 100% travel rates on everything. And it's running real nice. Hey, 
excellent. You can take the gear off this thing and uh, you can fly it uh, as a belly lander as well. So. But it's much more controllable, both this and the P-51, um, without tightening those linkages. It was kind of a handful of fly. Just a lot of play in the system. I'm going to turn out front. You ready? I'm going to do some sort of slow turns out front. You got it okay? I know you're doing your best with it. Guys, she can't really see the screen. She's just sort of pointing it. I can't <laughs> see anything. All I can see is my face. Yeah. <laughs> so she's doing her best can, to point all I can it see is at my the plane. Face. Try to keep it smooth. <laughs> Oops. My bad. <laughs> I started looking at the camera. That's why <laughs> I got a little distracted there, baby. You're distracting me. So right, let me see if I can bring it on by. There we go. Nice and smooth. But yeah, it trucks right along with this 100C pack in it. So I can definitely recommend it. It gives you a little bit more nose weight, so it makes it a little more stable. It's got those thick connectors on the battery. But uh, if you make it adapter, you should be okay with it. Again, this is a, really a drone battery, but you know, 1300C, China Hobby Line, 100, uh, 100C rating, or what I say, 1300 pack, 100C rating in it. And, uh, About ready to gives it some boost. Land. There we go. Excellent. I'm trying not to score a goal. <laughs> Doing my best for here. Way out. Just follow it. Just follow it. That's all you gotta do. All right. Let me bring it into land here. Probably do a little hand launch with it. You all right? Let's see if you can get this in the landing. Right out front. And uh, surprisingly enough, guys, it it handles the grass okay. And there we go, guys. Really, really nice. Again, if you tighten up your linkages here in the back, okay. And all I did was just like I did with the P51 in that live video. And I'll put links in the upper right hand corner, you can see that I changed my links. What was going on was, and look at me, what was going on was is the hole in the horn and the clevis was like this, okay? Or in the horn was like this. And the clevis pin for the stock ones were doing this. It just had too much play. So I basically put another clevis on that had a bigger pin. So there's no longer any movement. So the play is all gone. Okay guys, we're gonna close it up there. It's also a great uh, hand launch airplane. The landing gear pops off really easily just by grabbing these little, uh, these little uh, clevises here, kind of pulling them off, these little disconnects, and then your gear comes right off. One screw takes your nose gear off, okay, uh, with the set screw, and then you can use it as a uh, fly it as a hand launcher uh, and a belly lander. You can see how easy, how nice. Again, the landing gear pops on. Same thing with the P50 Must P51 Mustang video that we did, um, and it's just a real nice uh, flyer. You gotta get the play out of the surfaces, elevator, aileron. For this one, it was really just the elevator. And once you get that play out, the airplane's real stable. It's real smooth. And um, I was just flying it on 100% travel there. It flies beautifully on this China Hobby Line uh, 1300. And we're gonna have more of these small warbirds for you guys. And we did do an unbox. We did an assembly of this airplane and the P-51. And we're gonna have the Corsair and the Zero, 800 millimeter from FMS as well too. We're gonna put links to all this stuff in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Uh, along with uh, the tandem flight that me and Steve did uh, with the old batteries, because we've been using those, uh, we've been using those uh, old FMS 1300 like 20 seat packs that are like a decade old, and it still flew the plane rail. So, so my performance tips, guys: get rid of the play in your linkages, um, get your uh, bump your thing up to high timing, your speed controller, which the instructions are right there in the manual. And this thing flies like a champ. It handles this uh, kind of low cut. Satterfield compact grass here. So, uh, anyway, guys, uh, Amy, thanks for filming. She did a great job, I hope. We'll see what the uh, final footage looks like. And uh, I want to thank everybody for watching RC Informer. Stay tuned, more videos coming. I'll put links for this. I'll put links for the uh, China Hobby Line 1300 pack, which has really worked great in this. I'll put all those links below. Again, using our links below, clicking on them, and it supports our channel, guys, and we appreciate that at no cost to you guys. So we do get a little commission when you purchase through all our links below, whether it's Horizon Hobby, FMS, or uh, just any of the other brands. So we appreciate you guys watching. Amy, thanks again for filming. As always, guys, we'll see you all next time.